So the first thing we have to do is set some uh, whitelisting rules and that's the allowed file types. So let's create an array. Okay. So these are the files we will be accepting as images. So if you want PNG as well, you can do this. If you want uh, GIFs as well, or GIFs, you can do that. And if you want uh, PDF, uh, that's up to you. You can say PDF here. But here it's application. Now, if you're not sure what types to allow, just uh, put die somewhere here so that you don't save and tell it to echo out the same way we had done here. If I go back here, you see that we got this data inside our debugger here. So we got this data here with image. And then if you notice here, it's got type, which is showing me that this, Im this is an image of type image JPEG. Same here, same there. So if you do this with your files, so let's say you load an executable. It's going to show you what file type it is. If it's a text file and so on. So then you can load the ones you want, check their types and then add them there. So let's go back. For us, we are very simple people, just want JPEGs. All right, so at this point, we want to find the JPEG. So this is one JPEG here. Now, if you look closely, the information we have is type, name, error, and so on. So we can check for those things. First of all, let's check if there's no error. So if I say if image, this is one file at a time, right? If image raw error is equal to zero. And zero means uh, things went well. And type. And in array. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the image raw. That's not the error, but the type. If this type is inside our array, the haystack is our array. If it's in there, then uh, we are in business. So if there was no error and it's the correct file type, then we're in business. So what I will do now is capture the, the file name, the destination, okay? So since we'll be creating a, uh, folders and so on now the, the files like image files in our folder structure here will not go into assets no we'll create a folder called uploads now these have to be in the public folder because if they are in any other folder they will not be accessible online so your images will not show so make sure your images are in the public folder and so we'll create a uh, a directory so our directory is equal to uploads so that's our directory there but we have to make the directory if it doesn't does not exist if a file let's try not if not file exists directory so if our directory does not exist let's create by saying mkdir make directory the path is the folder and then we need to say 077 for privileges so that we are able to write to that folder and then let's put true for recursive uh, folder creation now true what that means is uh, if you had written if you wanted the folder to be deeper like this like this it will create all these folders to get to this one. So it's a good idea to always have it. But we don't need it here, but it's just good practice. And then this is the 
you can put uh, 7777 if you want for complete access but this is usually fine so at this point we are sure our folder exists because if it didn't exist we created it let's come down here and let's create our file destination so for the moment i want us to use um, but wait a minute we do have where does it generate an id of course yeah hmm. wait a minute ah so we don't have a slug yet okay okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use exactly the same file names that we got and let's check where the file names are and this is the name so it's inside the name now it's also possible that you may want to limit the file size of your of your uploads right maybe you don't want people uploading 100 megabytes uh, images so you can use the size to make sure that uh, everything is good so to do that you can say uh, right here where we say allowed you can put size in megabytes maybe uh, you want 10 megabytes or something like that and that's because it actually shows you the size of the item that you've uploaded now keep in mind that this size is in bytes it's not megabytes it's not kilobytes it's just bytes so you have to divide this to get to divide it twice in order to get megabytes so size is equal to 10 right so that's 10 megabytes but uh, you will change this but let's do something else on the next line we're just going to say size is equal to size uh, let's multiply it to get the actual size so instead of 10 because this thing monitors bytes so 10 bytes isn't much so we'll multiply it by 1024 to make kilobytes and then we'll multiply it again by 1024 1024 uh, to make megabytes so whatever number this is times this times this will get you the megabytes you want so once I change this to one that's one megabyte okay so size there so here you can say uh, this so the same way we are putting errors here you can uh, put errors here and you can say if let's copy this one if image raw size if the size is greater than size then we're in trouble but let's put less than here so we can put an error so I'll say else here mm hmm then I can get this and uh, give a very uh, specific error now the problem here is going to be with our error messaging so I think we ignore that for now because the problem is for as long as we have an error somewhere the whole thing will not be saved so it, it could be a good thing or you may want it to only save those that are okay but for now we'll do it this way we'll say is bigger than required size now we don't know what image number this is so we're going to use the key instead so we're going to say key dot like that because the key is uh, image or image one so to say image one is bigger than required size okay so if it's less than size then we are good to go all we need to do now is upload it and to upload is uh, very simple first of all we declare our destination
of course we want it to go in the folder and then we want to give it a file name now this thing comes with a file name so let me use that instead but we will see how to create new file names uh, the reason that is important is because somebody may upload the same image twice and one image will be occupied by two posts and then if you delete one post all the other uh, posts will suffer as well that's why it's a good idea to rename all files but for now we'll use the name that exists so image row name folder bam and then all we need to do is say move uploaded file what's the file name the file we want to move is inside temp so if i come back here you will see that there is a temp name right there that's the file it's in a temporary folder so i'll copy that is it temp name let me check again tmp name like that destination is over here so pretty good save all right so this is all we need to upload our images but at the same time i need to be able to give the destination to the correct segment here so that's not going to be difficult because our key is named after these so i'll just do something like this come down here after we move the file let's make sure we assign the we remember the destination for saving in the database now instead of adding here i'll say key which is this key over there okay so array key is equal to destination pretty good then we can uh yeah it's going to work over here okay so let's give it a shot so let me close this we may stop save so i'm guessing there's an error let's go up and check what we we got back okay so a couple of errors here and this is nice errors are good for exercise so i undefined variable folder on line 52 really let's come back here 32 my bad you know i switched from dir to folder that quickly ain't that something okay so let me copy that let's just replace this baby right there Ugh, silly mistakes so let's see what other complaints exist invalid path okay let's solve it by the same one folder 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 code to undefined member get one online now 122 really let's go down why Let's try it again. Maybe solving that error will fix a lot of these. Okay. Did anything happen? So we had a fatal error. Call to a member function get one or no. Okay. So what this means is we are calling a function on a no. So meaning that the class is not is no instead of actually being a class so this is on line 122 why is this happening this is right here so it's saying this model is a no which we actually set to a no but let's come back to oh i see what's happening mm, interesting yeah that's because we're calling it from somewhere else where we didn't provide this item so which is uh, 
where is that but before we go this way let's check if we actually have stuff in our products so I did save and we saved it twice yeah no problem let me go back to here and as you can see now we have a new folder in public there's uh, uploads and we have a few files in there so that's pretty good so far even if we upload several times the files are being replaced because the file names are exactly the same so where are we calling from this now to know where we are calling this from we use the stack trace so here it says uh, stack trace so it will show us where it started from so it started from constructor which is app of course everything is running inside the app and then we go to ajax product that's the class okay ajax product that's the page and then in there we have this so since this is being called from here but from outside let's look at ajax product ajax product that is the one that's calling it so create which is right here there we go make table so right here I want to to instantiate a class just like this product one let's instantiate category you can say category class just to be more uh, specific so since we've loaded it there we can add it to our collection that should solve the problem so one more time product added successfully very good okay oops all right so we are doing very well we've added a bunch of these but uh, let's see how to display them in our next video